Windows 10 is the most popular operating system around the world until this moment. It is used by more than 1 billion and 400 million devices. Even after the official release of Windows 11 in October 2021, Windows 10 is still on the top of the best and most used. This is because it is the best for the vast majority of users, in terms of speed and ease of use, and meets all their requirements. And because Windows 10 operating requirements are less consuming of hardware resources and are still secure, unlike Windows 11, which requires modern hardware specifications that are not available to all users. However, despite everything we mentioned earlier, Microsoft decided that Windows 10 would not be one of the company's future plans. After announcing last year that it would officially stop supporting Windows 10 by 2025, here it is, in its new release, announcing that it will stop selling Windows 10 activation keys in 2023. This means that you will not be able to purchase any copy of Windows 10 from the official Microsoft website. Of course, we do not need much to know the reason for this decision, as the update rates from Windows 10 to Windows 11 are much lower than expected, and Microsoft wants it to be the only option for users, as it did before with Windows 7. But do not worry. You can still buy Windows 10 keys from different sites and at prices even lower than the prices of the official Microsoft website. And if you are still using any version of Windows 7 8 or even 8.1, I advise you to at least update to Windows 10. We understand your attachment to older versions of Windows, and I still insist that Windows 7 was the best, but in the absence of security updates from Microsoft, we had no choice but to update to another copy. But, if you insist on using older versions, for example Windows 7, I advise you to use strong protection programs and update them constantly, as well as constantly update your internet browser as well. In the end, let's agree that Windows 10 was one of the longest-lived operating systems ever among Microsoft's operating systems. And that over its life, which will reach 10 years of updates and continuous support, it was one of the best versions of Windows ever produced. This is what we cannot say about Windows 11, which is still in a strange transitional period between a computer and a tablet. And less than a year and a half after its announcement, we started hearing news and leaks about Windows 12. If these leaks are correct, Windows 11 will be one of the shortest operating systems in the company's history at all. Tell us in the comments if you think that Microsoft's decision to stop Windows 10 in the year 2025 is good or if it came ahead of time.